In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to create multi-tier ODBC data source names or DSNs that connect to progress databases. I'm going to be working with a 64-bit Windows operating system. If you intend to create your own progress ODBC data sources on 32-bit Windows, you want to stop now and locate the video aimed at DSN creation on Win32. This video does assume that you know some basic information about your progress database. This video also assumes that you have a working installation of OpenLink software's multi-tier server components somewhere within your network. If you do not know anything about your progress database or you do not have a multi-tier server components installation or you're not aware of it, you either want to find the colleague who administers the server side of your architecture or you want to stop and view the videos in this series that pertain to progress connection prerequisites or multi-tier server component installation and configuration. That said, I am creating a special video that targets 64-bit Windows operating systems because there are two ODBC data source administrators on this machine. If you expand your start menu, you go into your control panel, go into administrative tools subfolder, you will see a data source administrator. Launch that. Click the Drivers tab. You'll see some open link drivers, some non-open link drivers. All of these drivers are 64-bit products. If you use this utility to create data source names, these data sources will all use 64-bit drivers, and those data sources will only be visible to 64-bit applications. If you have a 32-bit application on the machine, it will not be able to see the data source, it will not be able to use the data source. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to use the 64-bit administrator to show you how to create a progress data source. Then I will show you how to locate the 32-bit ODBC data sources administrator if that's the administrator that you do need to use. The actual DSN creation for both 64-bit and 32-bit administrators is identical. Whenever you're working with a 64-bit Windows operating system, you want to work with System DSN. So click the System DSN tab. Click Add. Look for the Open Link generic ODBC driver in the Drivers list box. If you have a mix of Unicode and non-Unicode drivers, note that you would only use Unicode if you are working with multi-byte character sets, I'm going to be working with the non-Unicode driver for my purposes. Click the Finish button. Provide a suitable name for your data source. Be sure to keep it short and do not use any special characters. Use of description is optional. You may use that to provide some insight into the nature or purpose of your DSN. Server field. The server field takes the host name or IP address of the machine that hosts OpenLink's multi-tier server components installation. Type a colon, then type the TCP port on which the OpenLink multi-tier request broker listens. Click Next. Domain, unless you're an advanced user, the domain field takes a preset value. If you intend to connect to Progress 10, you will always take Progress with a capital P, space, 100, capital S, capital Q, capital L. Here, case and spacing are important. You can use the associated drop-down menu for the field to check the correct value. 
if you were to connect to Progress 9, any Progress 9 in SQL 92 mode, you would type in Progress space 91 SQL. Here we see that in the list. If you were to establish a SQL 89 connection to any of the Progress 9 DBMSs or Progress 8 DBMSs, you would select the entry in this list that corresponds to the OpenLink database agent that's going to service your request. Now the OpenLink database agent is a server-side component. So if you're going to connect to Progress 91D in SQL 89 mode, and you downloaded a Progress 91D agent, this is the value that you want to select. If you want to connect to Progress 91E, and there was only a Progress 91D agent available for your operating system, you would not select Progress 91E, you would stick with Progress 91D because that's the agent that's going to service your connection. Again, we're going to select Progress Space 100 SQL. Database field. If you are working with Progress on Unix or Linux, always pass the full path to your Progress database. Include the .db extension. In some cases, if Progress is installed on Windows, you do not need to pass the complete path. You just pass the database name. DB connection options. If you if you're working with progress started in sockets mode, this is where you would pass the associated socket parameters that correspond to those passed to the database at startup. Pass minus capital S followed by the progress socket service, space minus capital N followed by a space and TCP, space minus capital H followed by the host name on which progress is running. Next, you want to ensure that this checkbox, this connect now checkbox is checked. Pass a username associated with your progress database and an associated password. Click next. By checking that checkbox, we have instructed the driver to perform a quick test to ensure that the parameters that we have passed are valid. The fact that we have arrived at this screen indicates that those parameters are correct. There are a few remaining parameters within the DSN configuration screens. We will not address them at this time. Those parameters are aimed at servicing the needs of advanced users or users who are using the product and need to do some troubleshooting or performance tuning. So we will save those parameters for a later video. Click Next. Click the, taste, click the Test Data Source button. You see that we have established a successful connection. This DSN that we have created here is now available for use by any 64-bit application on the operating system. If you have 32-bit applications, that need to be serviced by 32-bit ODBC drivers, you would locate the corresponding data sources administrator, go into computer, hard drive, windows. You will find it in a folder called syswow64. The data source administrator is called ODBC AD32. Again, ODBC AD32. And here you will see the same ODBC data sources administrator interface. And all these drivers, which did not appear before, all of these drivers are 32 bit drivers, including this version of the OpenLink. ODBC driver, the OpenLink generic ODBC driver. The DSN creation process is identical, so I will not demonstrate it at this time. This should provide you with enough information to create your own 64-bit and 32-bit 
data sources on a 64-bit Windows operating system, so this concludes this lesson.